We'll talk about X-ray, CT scan, and MRI, their differences and applications. Let's start with X-ray. X-ray uses ionizing radiation. We focus it because ionizing radiation increases risk of cancers. But X-ray contains very few ionizing radiation. It's only 0.1 millisievert, and it considered very few. X-ray is best for bones. If we want to see bone structures, bone fractures, then X-ray is number one because low radiation is fast, cost-effective, so it has many benefits and it sees bone structures well. Also, X-ray can visualize lungs also and abdominal cavity, but in case of abdominal cavity, this picture is very low resolution but it more useful in case of bones and in case of lungs. X-ray visualize tuberculosis, pneumonia, and it can be used also as an initial test of lung cancer. That's why it's important. Also dental procedures, osteoarthritis, and foreign bodies. You can see this pin inside the throat of kid. So it visualize foreign bodies well, now let's say about CT scan. CT scan is important because it also uses ionizing radiation and this radiation is quite high in this case. It's around 2 to 10 millisievert. It's 10 times, sometimes 100 times more than X-ray radiation. And CT scan actually is enhanced X-ray, generating image from multiple angles from 3D representation. So it looks like many X-ray pictures. If you combine many X-ray pictures, you, uh, you can get CT scan picture. CT scan is effective for thoracic and abdominal cavity. It sees almost everything in the body. Uh, and definition is good also and that's why it's go-to method for emergency situations because it can visualize almost everything including lungs, internal organs, uh, gastric, bowels, uh, blood vessels, almost everything and also it's used for stroke differentiation because it's fast method and when person has stroke we need to differentiate if it's hemorrhagic or ischemic stroke. That's why a CT scan is important measure here. Uh, we can differentiate if it's hemorrhagic or if it's ischemic. Also, for abdominal uh, pain diagnosis, it's very important for cancer detection, cancer monitoring, particularly in case of lung, liver and pancreatic cancer and cardiovascular disease assessment for uh, CT angiography. So CT scan sees almost everything and its go-to method, but it has important radiation. That's why we should be careful. And for example, if we need bone structures, then X-ray is good. If we need dental procedures, X-ray is good. If we need a lung picture, for example, person has pneumonia and we can see picture, it's x-ray, not CT scan. But if we need more fine pictures of the body, then CT scan is better. And now let's say about MRI. MRI does not use ionizing radiation. It means it's completely free uh, of cancer risk. It uses magnetic field and it catches uh, hydrogen atom spin direction and it gives us this image and this image is high definition image and MRI sees well soft tissues and brains so CT scan almost everything and if we want detailed picture of soft tissues like brain it's MRI if we want to see fine and high definition picture of internal organs especially for cancer monitoring and cancer staging it's MRI in many cases if we want to see muscles 
and uterine myomas for example it's MRI so if we want soft tissue fine images high definition images it's MRI if we want bones it's x-ray if we want everything it's CT scan C CT scan is fast method x-ray is faster average duration of CT scan is around 10 minutes average duration of x-ray is around 5 minutes and average duration of MRI is around 45 minutes so it's slow and for people who has claustrophobia MRI is difficult and now let's say about cancer risks because CT scan and x-ray can increase cancer risk but x-ray radiation is very few so it's debatable topic if it can really increase cancer risk but we have many studies which confirms that CT scan can really increase cancer risk especially multiple times if person uses multiple times um, CT scan it have um, accumulation effect that's why it's important and what cancer risks are increased if person intakes more than 100 millisievert of radiation fatal cancer risk increases by 1% is this, is this, is this absolute risk is high actually and what cancer risks are increased leukemias thyroid cancers lung cancers and breast, breast cancers they are most sensitive towards radiation so leukemias thyroid cancers lung cancers and breast cancers and if we want to say roughly uh, one millisievert increases risk of cancer per 0.1 percent Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.